Klaus believes that much of what we encounter in today's vast realm of online offerings is not only inaccurate, but often hazardous as well. For instance, you may come across advice that suggests it's wrong to be nice, polite, friendly, or kind. This is currently a trending topic. Klaus asserts that adhering to such advice can lead to severe consequences, at least to meaningful misunderstandings. So, what's the truth behind it all? Only individuals who are internally weak tend to believe that they must abandon external niceness. They harbor inner vulnerabilities and attempt to compensate for them through outward toughness. Unfortunately, they fail to address the root of their inner weakness and only mask it to their own detriment. In contrast, according to KFH, Klaus, as many refer to him, those who possess inner strength can consistently display politeness and friendliness, yes, being nice, even when they need to assert themselves. However, they rarely find themselves in such situations because their aura exudes such power and charisma that they are almost always treated with respect. They say and want to make you believe, stop being the nice guy, the kind one by doing this or that. They tell you, say no, keep your point, say what you want, don't be a coward, defend your position, and so on. That's, in this isolated way, the biggest mistake because they cover you with fragile tools and little bricks of doing what? Of following a manual. Of following a strategy of many little pieces, of following a menu of being conditioned like a Pavlovian dog. And the result is the opposite, you become less and less yourself, and above all, you are less and less spontaneous. In the end, you don't become fundamentally strong inside, and you're exactly not the nice, friendly, polite, and open person who can choose freely from an originally rich range of actions in the interests of the respective situation, and ongoing genuine communication. No, you then imitate the cliché of a hero, a strong man. In the end, you're just a joke, not even a nice person anymore, just a comic character. KFH says, this is completely the wrong way. He emphasizes that inner strength does not come from simple rules but from general care and, above all, from the awareness of preserving your own dignity and that of the people around you. The truly strong person always keeps and preserves his dignity. This is the all-creating platform, the fertile earth upon which everything else grows as a whole. Inner weakness arises from a lack of dignity. A weak person was once deprived of his dignity, by his parents, his teachers, broken by whomever, misunderstood, humiliated. He became a victim and now becomes a perpetrator himself, and these realities first have to be looked over and understood. Internally weak, he now becomes either a great manipulator or someone who constantly takes revenge through external harshness. And a lot of advice circulating these days only reinforces this lost tendency. Finding your way back to your true inner dignity and therefore inner strength is the path, and this path is not just paved with small stones and silly advice. It needs a clear, strong, and brave decision. It means confronting yourself with your wounds, your fear, your weakness as much as with your real inner self, your dreams, your fate, your genuine needs, and destinations. From Klaus, I learned, strength is always whole, dignity is whole, integrity is whole, honesty is whole, authenticity is whole. So yes, be you, be who you were born as, with all dignity and inner stability. But be nice, be friendly, be discriminating, be sharp, be decisive, just be exactly everything the moment requires, but always be you and always remain in your dignity. Be real, understand yourself, become internally strong as a whole, and never let anybody compromise your dignity. Understanding this, you will find many deeds of the past, original sources, analogies, and wise words that will remind and help you remain on your path of real humanity and strength. This is what I learned from KFH. Klaus, the globally renowned consultant, coach, and troubleshooter, asserts that a person with genuine inner strength can effortlessly afford to be accommodating, empathetic, dedicated, friendly, and simply nice. In fact, these qualities do not put such individuals at a disadvantage, quite the opposite. This example, one of many insights I've gained from Klaus, 
illustrates that authentic self-improvement often requires creating entirely different conditions than the hasty advice of inexperienced contemporaries often implies today. So, take good care of yourself, remain vigilant, and delve deeply into everything you encounter.